This confirmation was made public by the Big Bear Solar Observatory on May 6, 2014, but unbeknownst to the rest of us, their manuscript was submitted back in January. A bit of background. In a move of beautiful synchronicity, we finished our evaluation in mid-April, focusing on the electric connections between Earth and Sun, including the Earth Spots hypothesis and the heartbeat of the Sun. I want to first thank all the kind reviews and comments on the series, and if you haven't seen it but think this is looking very familiar, it's because we did pretty much this exact same thing April 29th in the news, morning after we released the series. So what part of this has been confirmed or partially confirmed? The heartbeat. We delivered evidence of three to five minute energetic oscillations above sunspots. Those had been known for years. But it was not until Iris that we could see these, sunspot oscillations that never seemed to stray from between two to three minutes, like a pulsing and outward waveform from the sunspots. On May 6th, less than 10 days after the release, the Big Bear Solar Observatory revealed that they had been first to the punch. I tip my hat. They were focused on a separate cone-like spike form that appears multiple times and in repetition in the sunspots. Looking in a different wavelength, the pulsing is not seen but rather energetic shifting and conical upwellings. The penumbral waves are much easier to spot here, but are a symptom themselves of the central activity. What is most fascinating is that they notice the spikes peak every two to three minutes and they appear in the same locations, just like the sunspot pulses in our observations, but for which we could offer no explanation. Perhaps they have done so here. The best part, the money line. The oscillations in spike height appear to be driven by upwelling shock waves caused by photospheric oscillations. If I may offer anything at all, it is that indeed their speculation is likely the right one. The timing match between the oscillatory pulsing we observed and the spike height oscillations offered by the scientists featured here is not to be ignored, and likely a key to progress in this section of heliophysics. I confidently now assert the validity of the 2-3 to three minute pulse form we shared April 28th on the website and multiple times since on YouTube. They indeed come from the same spot within the umbra and appear to be correlated to the penumbral waves at max spike height.